Hello everybody, how are you? This is Marco Ibanez. I'm a boudoir photographer based in Washington DC and today I want to share with you my five favorite boudoir poses. And I'm going to explain them to you from easiest to hardest. That doesn't mean that the last one is going to be super hard. It just means that it's a little more difficult, a little more physically demanding than the first one. Uh, but really all of these are super easy to do. They are suitable for all body types, shapes and sizes. Uh, and in my experience, anybody can do this unless they have a physical condition that constrained their movement. Okay, so all of them are super easy. Uh, so, but before I, I share, I show you the, the poses, uh, please don't forget to subscribe, uh, like and share if you like the content I'm creating, of course. Um, and let me know in the comments what do you think about these poses. Uh, and if you have any other topics in mind you would like me to expand on, and I will be happy to create more content related to that. So, without further ado, here are the poses. Okay, so the first pose I want to share with you guys is this one, which I call the upside down, because as you can see, your client will be upside down. Uh, this is one of the poses I use right at the beginning of my shoots as it is very easy to do, very relaxed. There's not much going on in this pose, but also because everybody looks great when they are upside down okay and this is not something i just made up this is this is something that has been proven by science i'm going to leave a link below to a study that supports that so you can read in more detail but basically we trick our brains to overlook imperfections when we are positioned that way okay so uh, so now that you know you should take full advantage of this situation to make your clients look better uh, to sell more photos and to make more money okay uh, so a, a couple of things that are important to achieve this pose is uh, first one is the head position <clears throat> so you should position her, her head right at the edge of the bed however the angle is very important uh, she should her head should be at at this angle not don't make the mistake to position their head totally vertical okay because two reasons the first one is that it's going to be uncomfortable for them and the second one is because th her face is going to turn red really fast and you don't want that because then you want to have her face one color and her body a totally different color okay so you don't want to do that so you have to position their heads um, at an angle and that is going to make uh, of course it's going to be more comfortable and their face is, is probably going to turn red at some point but it's not going to be as fast okay if that happens then you have to ask your client to sit up and breathe for a couple of seconds and then come back to the pose uh, okay uh, another important thing is knees uh, together because that's going to make uh, her hips uh, look rounder and uh, waist look, look smaller um, the, the hand position I normally ask them to uh, put their hands to touch very gently her neck or her chest area with the fingertips or the back of their hands okay and you have to make sure their hands are relaxed because a lot of times I ask people to you know touch their necks put their hands on their necks and uh, when they do that some of them they look like they're choking themselves okay so that's not good you have to make sure uh, their hands is their hand is relaxed. Uh, a lot of times, also what I ask them is to grab the the strap of their bra and pull it this direction with their fingers. Okay, that also helps. The other arm can be uh, on the side, you know, out of the out of uh, out of sight. And what I normally do is I ask them to put that hand um, on their tummies. Okay, that helps. Uh, a lot of times I also ask them to bring their arm up and you know this way and have uh, their fingers uh, running through their hair that's also uh, a good a good pose uh, this is a terrible drawing <laughs> uh, but you know that that also helps eyes closed is something I ask them to do all the time because I want to convey the sense of relaxation the sense of you know them being comfortable in the shoot so that helps a lot so but also this is a great pose to have their eyes open okay um, so for that is very important that where you place your camera so the the placement you should be 
slightly above her eye level okay sorry this is not a very straight line but something like here so your your camera should be at this level so when they open their eyes they're going to look almost straight at you uh, if you have your camera at this level for example if you ask them to open their eyes they're going to look this way and that's going to make you know her forehead to have uh, wrinkles and you don't want that okay so very important to do these things and so this is the pose very easy to do and a, a winner for sure let's go to the next one okay so this one i call the superman because it reminds me of a superman when he's flying he's putting one one arm up the opposite knee up and this is actually what i tell my clients you know that we're going to do the superman and sometimes they laugh sometimes they don't but i think it also helps with you know creating this friendly environment uh, helping me um, creating some rapport with my clients and make them feel more comfortable at the end of the day what i want is for them to feel as comfortable as, as possible because the more comfortable they are the better the pictures the pictures will come out okay so uh, i ask them to bring this knee up almost uh, at 90 degrees with respect to their body and then this arm can go uh, can they can stretch all the way this direction or you know you can do they can do what she's doing here which is you know putting her hand behind her head and that's fine too it looks great um, and then the, the their head resting on this arm uh, in this case I'm asking her to close her eyes too uh, and bring the chin up because I want the light from this window to lit her face okay and to shape to define her face here and her neck this way I think that looks really nice one other thing that I always look in my photos to create in my photos with posing is the creation of diagonals and triangles and I think this is very important in your composition okay because what you want to avoid is to just have flat lines flat lines are boring uh, and you want something more dynamic right you want something like this in your images you want to create uh, movement okay so you want your photos to be alive to have a lot of movement so that's what I want with um, with my images so for example here I can see one triangle here I can see another one here uh, there's another one here and uh, you can even see you know one here too so that's that's one of the things I, I, I want in my images and so I post my clients to um, to create this, these lines. Uh, another pet peeve of mine is to have, uh, I, I always ask my clients to point their toes, always, always, always I ask them to point their, even if I don't see their feet in the, in the frame, even, you know, uh, even if I can't see their feet, I always ask them to point their toes because I think it's important for them to pose correctly uh, and you know it helps with the, with the posing, but it also helps to keep um, you know clean lines, clean lines and helps uh, make their body uh, look uh, longer. So uh, that's that's important. So um, that's that for this this pose. Uh, let's go to the next one okay so this is a booty pose and it's super easy to do and everybody looks just amazing in this pose even people that don't think they look like kim kardashian if you know what i mean they look just great in this pose the key here is for them to arch their back as much as they can as much as possible so a lot of times uh, or actually most times when I ask my clients to get into this position what they do is, is they just lay flat uh, with their back straight this way and sometimes some even arch their back in the opposite way which is not correct okay so you don't want that uh, so in order to avoid this situation what I ask them to do is uh, I ask them to stretch their arms to the front hands together here and so when they get into this position, that um, that is going to help uh, help them arch their back naturally. Okay, that is going to happen naturally. It's going to be a lot easier for them to arch their back. Another important thing is that you you want them to have staggered legs, one knee forward, 
pointed toes of course this is super important because it's gonna make their body look longer like this okay so when you get your client into this position what is gonna happen is that you are enhancing their natural curves okay this situation is is gonna happen here and yeah that's always uh, good right so uh, you are also gonna find a triangle here a triangle here and again diagonal across your frame so all these things are really good for your composition it's an, a very easy pose everybody looks great so one of my favorite poses okay so let's move on to the next one okay. this pose here is my favorite out of the five because of the movement and the clean lines it creates uh, i it, i think it's very pleasing to the eyes uh, at least to my eyes i don't know about you guys but it's very pleasing to my eyes you know this this line here that it creates it's really nice so um, the the most important thing here is to get the upper body uh, position correctly and I'm gonna explain that in a second but what I ask my clients to do is to lay flat on their backs on the bed you know with their legs hanging this way and I, and then I ask them to move their feet slowly in this direction okay and when they do that what is going to happen is that their hips are going to dip this way okay so when I see that their hips are um, below their knee level i ask them to stop okay but you don't have to wait i mean don't don't wait until their hips are too low okay because if they are too low then the shoulders are going to be in this area and you don't want that because two reasons okay one is that uh, you want her arms to move freely but if her shoulders are here they won't be able to stretch their arms this way Okay, it's gonna constrain their movement. Uh, their arms are actually gonna go up, okay? It's, and you don't want that. And the other reason is because it's, you know, having her, sh her upper body in this position, it's gonna help with creating this nice curve, right? That, that actually the bed, the shape of the bed is helping create this, this nice curve. So you want all of that, okay? So once you have her placed in this position, then uh, you're gonna ask them to stretch the one of their arms this way, okay? Sometimes uh, it's um, uncomfortable to do this, okay? So it's, it's too difficult for your client to do this, then what you're gonna ask is for her to, instead of doing this with this arm, just bring it in between her legs like she's doing with this right arm, okay? That's also gonna look very nice. Uh, shol uh, shoulders up and that's going to help also with uh, you know bringing the chest up um, so that's that for this pose uh, you know and again you know having her in this position their pointed toes uh, hips right below uh, knee level arm stretch is going to create this this nice line here in, in her body which I think looks really nice uh, one more thing that I wanted to to tell you guys is that um, the, the shoes okay this is sometimes I like to incorporate elements in the foreground that add uh, to add context and adds to the storytelling okay so in this case actually she wanted to she, she actually removed her shoes from the frame and I asked her to bring it back because I think it makes the image more interesting okay so that's that for this pose let's move to the next one this pose here I call the flash dance because it reminds me of a scene in the movie flash dance where the main character is dance is dancing in a club and she's sitting on a chair and she pulls a chain and then water comes down from the ceiling on top of her it's a very iconic scene uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the movie but it just reminds me of that scene uh, the most important part of this pose are the highlights here on her uh, upper body okay so in order in order to get this correctly there are two things that are very important the first one is her elbow placement we have to make sure the elbows are placed correctly right below the shoulder and closer to uh, their body okay sometimes people uh, move their arm this way and that is not correct because it's not going to generate the effect that you want you want uh, this area here her shoulders and her clavicles to pop okay so you want the highlights in this area so in order to accomplish that 
uh, elbows need to be below the shoulder and close to her body. Okay, that's very important. The second thing that is very important is that um, her neck and head need to be relaxed and fall in between her shoulders. Okay, this is very important also because what happens is that uh, a lot of times they their, their neck is stiff and their head is in this area. So you don't want that because it looks forced. Okay, it doesn't look right. So you have to make sure that their, their neck is relaxed and their head falls this way, okay? What happens is that uh, sometimes I have to demonstrate this myself because it's difficult to communicate. This pose I find especially difficult to, <laughs> to give precise directions to people. So a lot of times I end up demonstrating this myself, okay? Um, the other thing is uh, open mouth to communicate a sense of sensuality, uh, you know, to generate a lot of emotion in the image, same as uh, uh, eyes closed. Um, then uh, there are her legs, uh, one knee higher than the other, stagger legs, and also pointed toes. Always, always, always point, pointed toes, even if I don't see, I'm not, I'm, uh, her feet are out of the frame, but I'm asking them, I'm asking her to point her toes anyway, okay, because I think it helps. Um, so when you do that, then we, what is gonna happen again is you are going to create these beautiful curves in her body. Uh, you know, there's a triangle here, another triangle here, so that makes for good composition. It's going to make your image alive. You're gonna give your image a lot of movement. It's gonna be dynamic and that's what you want in your images, right? Okay, so these are the things, these are the five poses. Um, and Okay, but now don't worry about, you know, I, I have given you a lot of information, but don't worry if you haven't had the chance to uh, take notes or written down all the information that I have given you. I have created something that is gonna help you. So let me show you here. Uh, I have created this document, it's a PDF. It's a free download from my website. So I'm gonna leave a link below so you can download this for free. You can just go there. And you know, I have included here all the poses that I have shown you with all the instructions written down, but also I'm including here my camera settings and where the light is coming from. So you have a pretty good understanding of how I accomplish these poses. Um, and so you can replicate uh, or practice or do whatever you want with this information, okay? So this is all for you, it's for free. Uh, but for those of you who want to take full advantage of you know, all the poses that I use in, in my shoots, I also have created this, the ultimate boudoir posing guide, okay? And this guide has more than a hundred different poses. You will find here standing poses, sitting poses, poses on the bed, poses on the floor, poses on the sofa, booty poses, uh, all of these things, plus a bonus section with additional insights into my creative process, okay? All of this is included in this guide. Also is included with this guide, an app, yes. An app that you can install in your phone or your tablet so you have easy access to all this information on the go. So for example, next time you're shooting and you're running out of ideas, you don't know what to do, you just open the app and you will find right there uh, all the information you need to know to pose your clients correctly, okay? So uh, I'm gonna leave, if you're interested, I'm gonna leave uh, all links uh, down below so where you can find these things. And so thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this information is helpful for you. Uh, I would love to hear your feedback if you have any, please let me know in the comments. Maybe I'm missing something or there's something you would like to see. Please let me know. Uh, also, don't forget to follow me in Instagram. This is my handle, Marco Ibanez Photo. And so thank you very much again. Happy shooting. See you later. Take care. Bye-bye. Ciao.